I went on my first rook, uh, basically of the year since like I haven't rook since March, and there was a couple of things that stood out to me that I wanted to share. Um, for one, comfort is key. That's number one. The more comfortable you are, I think, the better you will perform. Therefore, kill all friction points. So for me, I easily get blisters on my feet. I get peeling on my hips. Uh, inside of my thighs and around my neck so for around my neck uh, i like to wear a college shirt it could be a combat top it could be a ocp top it could be a polo shirt like i use today anything but to make sure that the shoulder strap front right up to your neck for the hips i'll put vaseline um sometimes i'll put moleskin if it's a longer ruck and then for the feet i put a thin layer of vaseline uh on my feet and inside of my or in between my toes some people like to put sock liners. I'm not a fan of sock liners because my feet sweat a lot. Um, and if my feet sweat a whole bunch, yeah, this is just not going to help me. So Vaseline is totally fine for me. You could try both, see what works for you. Um, another thing, so like programming, once it gets up to like 12 miles or more, you don't necessarily have to do all that in, at one sitting if you don't have the time. So not everybody has three hours uh, in the morning or at night to go for a ruck. So you could always split it as long as you're covering the allotted miles for the day. Um, water. Be smart with the way that you drink water. I like to drink water every 10 minutes whether I need to or not. Uh, especially if the ruck's over 45 minutes. But also... Just like in a race, you don't want to pause to drink water, and you also don't want to spill water if you're limited on water. So, the best way I've found is to use the two quart canteens that the army issues and put them on the side of your ruck, and then connect a, a canteen straw to it. And if need be, you could even take the the tip of it off so that you're not using the one that you have to bite down, and you could use the flip one by Camelback. So yeah, replace it with the Camelback one, and you continue at whatever speed you've been going at. While also drinking water. Um, for footwear, that one, um, so I got my uh, feet checked to see what size was best for me. And I had interesting feet. So I had wide feet with a narrow heel. So while I was wearing wide shoes to fit my foot, it was causing blisters in my heel because there was space for movement. Therefore, I ended up getting inserts. The inserts didn't work for me because uh, the arch support was too strong, but pay attention to that. See what's best for you. I would just go to Fleet Feet or one of these local shoe stores and see um, if they have one of those machines that you can stand on and they'll give you a diagnosis on your foot. Um, so for pace, as far as training, I'm not a big fan on uh, keeping a certain pace if you're just starting. So obviously you want to be below 15, right? Not everybody can walk at that pace before you end up ruck running. Um, I've always been told during training, do not ruck run um, or avoid it, especially on uh, paved roads. So if you're going to do it, do it on uh, grass or sand. Um, but what I'm getting at is with that pace, be mindful of elevation. Like if you are running every 100 steps you count to you take 100 paces and then you begin to walk 100 for me like if it's going uphill i don't run uphill i'll end up walking let's say 200 paces up the hill and then i'll make up for it once i've passed the hill so trying to conserve energy uh that way hip belt hip belts are super important when i first joined the army that was not allowed I remember there was no waist packs or hip belts allowed on Long Street, one of the real steps we were run rock on. Um, that's not very smart. If you go to any selection, they're going to tell you to make sure you use your hip belt waist pack because that relieves a lot of weight off your shoulders. Um, and yeah, once you've done uh your ruck make sure to cover i don't know five to ten minutes of mobility i like to walk backwards for 10 minutes uh, to strengthen my knees because i've had a lot of knee problems in the past i have um, three knee surgeries on my left well acl mcl medial meniscus and i just got over a ruptured baker cyst on my right so i would definitely say that mobility is important um 
yeah so if you have any questions let me know or if you have anything that you would like to add that could help me um improve my rook tremendously in two weeks i would appreciate that thank you